Hey guys, this is Medicosis Perfectionalis. Thank you for watching. This is my second part on cytoplasmic organelles. In the previous video, we have talked about the mitochondria and lysosomes. Today, let's talk about endoplasmic reticulum, the Golgi apparatus, and peroxisomes. So, let's get started. First, the endoplasmic reticulum. We divide it into rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The endoplasmic reticulum is a network of tubular and flat vesicular structures. It has a double membrane which is folded into invaginations. It's attached to the nuclear membrane. That's why the nuclear membrane was studded with ribosomes. It has two subtypes, granular or rough endoplasmic reticulum, why granular? Because it has ribosomes. Ribosomes help in protein translation. The smooth or agranular endoplasmic reticulum has no ribosome, helps in fat synthesis, detoxification, transport proteins from rough endoplasmic reticulum to the Golgi apparatus. So here is the endoplasmic reticulum, has the rough or the granular endoplasmic reticulum and the smooth or agranular. The rough has the ribosomes, smooth doesn't have any ribosomes. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum, fat synthesis such as phospholipids of the cell membrane as well as steroid hormones. The rough endoplasmic reticulum on the other hand is the central processing unit so it processes and the uber which means it transports and directs what? Vesicles which are proteins it will transport them to the Golgi apparatus, as we'll see. Ribosomes are RNA plus proteins. They synthesize new proteins, called protein translation. Endoplasmic reticulum works hand-in-hand -hand with the Golgi. Now, let's talk about the Golgi apparatus. Golgi apparatus, the sorter, the distribution center, stacks membrane-bound sacs. Stuff goes to the ER, then to vesicles, then to the Golgi apparatus. Golgi also modifies stuff by adding chemical groups such as phosphate, sulfate, carbohydrate. Add signal sequences to order stuff to go to a certain location. That's why we call it the sorter. And it packs stuff into vesicles. So here is the nucleus, here is the nuclear membrane in continuation with the rough endoplasmic reticulum. They will send these small molecules to the Golgi apparatus and the Golgi will keep flowing them like this from here to here to here to here to here. We call this cis-Golgi and this part trans-Golgi. Finally, we have the secretory vesicles or secretory granules. By exocytosis, they are secreted to the outside of the cell. On the other hand, here is the process of endocytosis or entering stuff from outside of the cell to the inside of the cell. And here we have the endosome. And if it's going to be digested, the lysosome will come into play. So the Golgi, endoplasmic reticulum, endosome and lysosome, all of them they work in harmony, they form a symphony. What a beautiful thing. That's why cells that secrete more will have more endoplasmic reticulum and more Golgi. Form follows function. The secretory vesicles contain inactivated enzymes, also known as proenzymes. When they exit the cell, they get activated into the active counterparts. The active enzymes are ready to do their job. Why wait until they leave the cell? Because otherwise, they will digest the cell. For instance, you have the pancreas. It has proteolytic enzymes to digest proteins. While they are in the pancreas, they are proenzymes. Once they are secreted into the duodenum, now they can work. They can digest protein. But if they were to be activated in the pancreas, they would digest the pancreas, which is not cool. Our last topic today is the peroxisome. Peroxy because it has hydrogen peroxide and some means body. Peroxisomes contain oxidases. This is different from lysosomes. They contain hydrolase enzymes. Go back to my previous video to know more about the hydrolase. Peroxisome contain hydrogen peroxidase. 
enzymes for pentose phosphate shunt. They help break down very long chain fatty acids through the process of beta oxidation. This is called lipid catabolism, which is the breakdown of lipids. That's why peroxisomes is like the gym trainer, which helps you break down fat. They help in the synthesis of phospholipids used in the cell membrane. Also, a special type of phospholipid is the plasmalogen, which forms the myelin sheath that covers your neurons. Peroxisomes also help in reduction of reactive oxygen species, also known as free radicals. Enzymes that deal with hydrogen peroxide are called peroxidases. Hydrogen peroxide is also known as dihydrogen dioxide, also known as perhydroxic acid. Oxygen, oxygen, and two hydrogen. This oxygen-oxygen single bond is called, is found in peroxides. So this bond is called peroxide bond. Here is the reduction process of reactive oxygen species, also known as free radicals. And no, I'm not talking about politics. We start with oxygen, we add an electron. Electron has a negative charge. That's why this process is not oxidation, this is reduction. Here we have the superoxide. We will add two hydrogen. Adding oxygen is oxidation, but adding hydrogen is reduction. Now we end up with hydrogen peroxide, and it will end up into the hydroxyl free radical. What happens when you drink alcohol? When you drink alcohol, there is an enzyme called alcohol dehydrogenase, converts ethanol into acetaldehyde. In this same step, NADPH is converted into NADP. This enzyme is in the microsome called cytochrome P2E1. Cool. At the same step, the hydrogen peroxide is converted into water by an enzyme called catalase thanks to the peroxisome. Acetaldehyde, by using the enzyme acetaldehyde dehydrogenase, is going to be converted into acetate. Acetate will break down into carbon dioxide and water. This acetaldehyde dehydrogenase is in the mitochondria. So when you drink alcohol, the microsome works, the peroxisome works, and the mitochondria works. All of them are cursing you when you drink excessively. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, SoundCloud, Instagram, and please support the channel on Patreon. This is Medical Perfect Channels. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe, stay happy, and study hard.